our John Ripley sheet music collection is very special. John Ripley, who uh, collected the bulk of the music in our John Ripley sheet music collection, was a local historian, president of the local historical society, the Shawnee County Historical Society, and he was not a professional musician at all, but he loved music. The John Ripley Sheet Music Collection incorporates sheet music from many places and periods. Sheet music as a genre helped promote music by artists, music from stage plays, and eventually music from the movies. And it helped popularize many artists. One that you may be familiar with is right here in the center of our table. It has influence on both us locally and on the nation at large. Judy Garland starred in a movie and sang a song about the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. As you see, this sheet music has her face on the cover. It was not unusual to have the person who first premiered the song or made it popular and have their face on the sheet music. Just like on your favorite CD cover, you might get the band or artist today. To be truly sheet music, it is one song in a paper format, often slightly oversized or very oversized. Collectors today appreciate the cover art. Artists who would do art specifically for the sheet music, and this was how that made their living or part of their living. If it was something related to a movie or Broadway play, often the cover art would be done by the same artist as the posters to promote the play. A lot of these were just independent songs, and especially in the early days of radio, people wanted to learn how to play or sing in their own living room because they couldn't have it on CD or record at that point, and so the only way to repeat the song and learn it was to play it yourself. Sheet music also helps us remember different eras in our country's history, and some of those are not as positive as others. This one, Mammy's Little Coal Black Rose, reminds us of the time in the 1800s when slavery was a reality of life in the United States. Now, this Bone Dry Blues has other significance. It was published here in Topeka, Kansas. You do see the little black face that would have been in a minstrel show, but you also see Saloon Closed. It is a, a blues song memorializing the fact that Topeka went dry. You'll also see Topeka by the gentleman H.W. Jones, one of three H.W. Joneses who was a composer here in the Topeka area, again published in Topeka. A female composer, Isabel Arthur, who wrote When the Bloom is on the Cherry at Sardou, premiered here in Topeka, although obviously it had a larger publication published here in Topeka, but did make its way around the country a little bit. Probably the most recent piece published is The Heart of the USA, which was the Topeka Song, published in 1943. Kansas was going through a debate as to what would be the state song of Kansas, which is actually Home on the Range. Another local Topekan was Charles Sheldon, and in his steps, his book, did have some music written from it um, based on the book, and so some of that was published as well. Sometimes songs were written to commemorate things. The Battle in the Air was a descriptive piano solo based on air battles of, uh, given the artwork, probably World War I, maybe World War II. Sheet music and music in general reflects the world around us and the time and period in which we live. This is just a very small sampling of our sheet music collection. This sheet music collection is very special. It is unusual for a public library to have such an extensive sheet music collection. Usually these types of collections are in music libraries and university libraries where serious research is done on sheet music. The Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library has always had a strong emphasis on art and music in their collections. We have a significant fine arts collection, we have our gallery, and we have this wonderful sheet music collection. It used to circulate. Many of these items were able to be checked out. However, as sheet music ages, it becomes very fragile. And so 
we have had to take it out of the circulating collection and keep it in our special collections. However, it is still accessible. If you come in and ask for one of the pieces of sheet music, we will have to run to the basement and get it out of our storage down there, but we can get it for you. You cannot check it out, but it can be photocopied. And most of it is out of copyright, so we aren't even depriving anyone of their due access to the income from the sheet music. To us, it's important to have this available because these are the popular songs of time and days gone by. It is a time capsule for the music that was important to our grandparents, maybe our parents, depending on our age, great-grandparents. And it is just a wonderful thing to have for research, for enjoyment. Topeka by H.W. Jones published by the Mills Company in Topeka, Kansas in the early part of the 1900s.